You know, Rachel, people don't talk about all the charity work you do. You never get credit for it. I just want to take a minute for you to talk about all the th great things you do uh, for animals. You do so much work. Uh, a lot of your businesses do donate millions and millions and millions of dollars. Just well, talk to us what's dear to your heart. John and I don't have uh, human children. We didn't marry until we were almost 40. So we wanted to make our business a vehicle uh, to pay it forward to the next generation. And so when we started uh, our brand, um, a portion of the proceeds went to uh, initially Yummo, which is our children's initiative that lobbies for better uh, school food, provides um, uh, food relief uh, to children that are at risk of going hungry and provides uh, educational dollars for any public school child who wants to go into any food related field. That was very successful and the brand raised millions of dollars to, to all of those ends. And we only give the money to places where we can measure it large mm -hmm. and small so we can see the outcome of, of our, uh, what we spend mm -hmm. um, with our philanthropic dollars. So then we use that as the model for our animal products and animal food. Yeah. Um, it basically, it's, it's building a business plan to fund uh, whatever it is you want to, to be your initiative. So sure. just use your, your, your model in life to pay it forward in whatever way is most meaningful to you. So we use the model for children to build our animal business. And uh, that's given over 40 million now, I think, for wow. shelters. Yeah. Wow. So collectively, I, I don't know where we're at, but um, it's, it's really people that support the brand and support uh, those measures, you know, uh, feeding kids, improving the health of American kids, our scholarship program and all the work we do with uh, animal shelters, large and small, all of that stems out of people just buying our brand. So wow. we thank everybody for doing that. Uh, that's what funds it. So we don't have to do those big showy dinners sure. and events where people spend $10,000 to go see a concert or you know overpay for this or that in life. Right. All they have to do is buy the dog all food. All they have to do is buy dog food or cat, cat food, food or a pot or a pan or a dish something that they would buy. Anyway, we even have a line now that supports red, yep. uh, that supports uh, AIDS, AIDS relief efforts because we're not done with that job yet. Well, I tell you, it is just absolutely wonderful work. I mean, you always say on the show, you got to pay it forward. So let's pay it forward now before you go. People are running out of ideas of what to cook at home or how to cook it. Can you give just a couple of quick tips about what people can do if they're kind of getting exhausted with limited choices? Be more adventurous. Uh, actually, I think you should start with just cleaning out your pantry, cleaning out your freezer, your dry pantry, and your fridge completely, and starting from scratch and really build yourself whatever direction it is you want to go. I want to eat more Mediterranean diet. I want to eat, uh, I love Tex-Mex. You know, whatever it is that <laughs> is your, your groove, right. start from scratch and build that thing. For us, our pantry is largely beans dried and canned, tomatoes of every variety, mm -hmm. um, pasta. uh, pastas, grains. Um, you really have to build what it is you want to accomplish in your daily diet. If you love making your own takeout food or you really love uh, Thai food mm -hmm. and Japanese food, and, you know, you build a pantry around that because you're going to use the same ingredients over and over and over again. So if you're going to make that investment and you're going to start from scratch, that's where you begin. What you like to eat most or what you want to teach yourself to, to be able to prepare more accurately. And it, the kitchen becomes more fun if you're cooking something you actually want to eat. 1,000%. Amen to that. You know, before we go, I just want to say that one thing I learned about you as you're hosting your show, I've always watched this, you are a very generous host. When people come on your show as guests, you give people their time, you give them the star, the limelight, the light, you highlight them. And I want to appreciate all these years that you've highlighted me and thousands of other guests who you have given some shine to. So I miss you guys. I love you guys. And uh, we hope to see you soon. We love you too. And congratulations. All right. Take care, guys. You look great in your new home, but I still <laughs> want you to come home to us as I'm soon com as we get. I'm coming, trust we me. We've got to play golf soon. We, you got it, man. You got it.